so this, this is a gorgeous place. I mean, I've loved it all my life. I talk about it a lot. I video it a lot. Each moment I come here is different. Different, but always special. The trees, they know me from a small child when I came here. The streams forever running up to sea. The big old tree remembering me. Beautiful, isn't it? I just love this. Oh, I just love it. I'm just going to do a little bit more videoing with the camera, this camera, because I've, I've really got a strong feeling that once this charger is nearly finished, the charger alone is nearly empty. I, I should really bring the other charger. Um, this one will pack up as soon as the charger stops. It's got one bar left. I've been charging it up while I've been sat down, so there might be a little bit of memory left in there for some photos. But I have got the other camera, but you can't guarantee that one, although it's all right on video. So the aim is, just to let you know, we've, we're leaving Holford now. I've had my lovely picnic. We're going up towards the coombs and the streams. Um, I'm frightened to turn this off because I think the moment I turn it off, it will pack up. It's still charging. There's hardly anything left in the battery charger. I really must start bringing the other one out. The other one is much more powerful. I didn't today, I thought, oh, I won't need it. You know, I've got the, uh, the Sony with three batteries. But of course, I've got used to this one now and um, trying to handle it better. So, here we go, folks. Up memory lane many, many times. And uh, it's such a lovely day today. In fact, I'm going to take my hat off for a little while. Mustn't lose it though. Just wrap it around my uh, wrist. I will need it once we get up in the coom. I will need it once we get up out of the coom, I mean. And we're exposed. And I'm going to go down Weakham. There's time. There's time for me to go down Weakham and do the Coleridge Walk. I'm not sure whether I'm going to explore a different bus stop. It was a bit unclear when I went online. Something called Lux Lane, I'm not quite sure. Uh, if it's as good as going through um, Bicknoller. But look at this lovely little scene as well, everyone. Look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? And I can hear the waterfall. The waterfall down there. Where the Huguenots came and the Huguenots, I'm not going to go down there, but the Huguenots came here for the water to do their weaving. And uh, the waterfall is just there through the trees, down through there. It's beautiful, and I'm going up there. Just going to turn off the video to take some photos. They've come down for the stream, look. For the water. Come down for the water. Yeah. Little folds are getting bigger, aren't they? Little folds. Just do a little bit more video in of these gnarled trees. Yeah, they're young, they're sheltering that. I thought I'd just do a small video of the, the ponies. That looks a really fine looking pony or horse even, that one. And there's a very young foal there. They're sheltering, aren't you, in the cool? And you've got water. Yeah. Bye bye then. I'll do a little bit more because the trees are so beautiful. I've been taking lots of images of the trees. 
up here. And the streams down there, there's still water. Hopefully it's not dry, totally dry. But look at those trees. Look, I home into them. No old, old trees. Nice to see the horses there. There might be more in a minute as we come up to the main streams. Lovely trees. Oh. Somebody coming along with their dogs. All right, carrying on with the video a bit. They've just walked through. They've got those sort of special shoes on that you wear in water. Just thought I'd do this little path here. The camera's just about hanging on to the battery at the moment. So, this is a lovely part to do. Um, I'm very pleased with the walk, really, what I've done so far. There you are. It's been a good, good walk. That's a bit, I mean, this gets really full, but at least there's still water here at the fords. Trees, everything looks quite lush and green, doesn't it? The, the roots, you see, hold water. That's the thing about trees, they're very clever. Oh, I love this place. I just feel like, well, I used to call it my little Eden, to be quite honest. My little Eden, because it is. It's heaven here. It's heaven. I said I should really come here when I go on the Quantox. I should really. At the same time, Glastonbury has a draw for me, like a magnet in a different way. Oh, it's different. No children in the streams. Some people won't come up here though because of the ticks, see? The risk of limes. Which is what I got here. I caught it here. Corn top ticks got me. <sighs> lovely, lovely trees. Lovely trees. Gorgeous, isn't it? This is Hodder's Coombe, everyone. On the 8th of August, 2022. I don't know what video, it could be 10, 11 or 12, I really don't know. I gave up counting, because sometimes I only do a video for about 30 seconds and I have to stop because someone comes. So some have joined up, but there will be like little gaps between each frame, if you like. Now, I've got my hat, but I can dodge in and out and get the shade a lot here. But I know it will be very hot very soon. But somebody coming. Somebody else coming now. So I think I'll just do a little a couple of little photos. I remember four years ago when I came here, not long after my sister died. And I always imagined her sat on the bank there saying, Hi Sheila, take care. And I still feel that now. But I was very, very upset more. I am still upset, really. But, um, four years have gone. Four years. And I imagined her sat here. She's cross-legged there. Loving it. Yeah. That's how I imagine her. I miss you, Jude. 
I really miss you, Jude. I can't explain it, really. Summer Tuncoom, if you go up there, folks. Summer Tuncoom, beautiful. You can get out on the top and come out near the start of Lower Hernap. Okay, I was all up the top there earlier, walking. And, uh, and I kept referring to the coombs, all the green trees and, and things, you know. And a uh, place I love very, very much, especially here, especially the, these streams, these trees, this whole area. Hello, old tree. Do you remember me? Oh. I remember you. I've got you in lots of photos. Old tree, don't forget me. I'll never forget you. Look after my sister Jude. She's a spirit here. She's a spirit, my sister is. As I will be. I will be back one day as a spirit as well. Yeah, I will. I would definitely be back here. I might have my ashes on Glastonbury, keeping an eye on the whole thing, but this is where my heart would be, really. Here. I've always loved it. I've always felt good here. And even when I've been a bit sad, I've, it's always made me feel better to come here. Always. I just love you all. I just love you all so much. Yeah, there's another way down, but it can get very furry up the top there, furry. So that's a winter walk going up through those sort of areas, really. A bit uh, overgrown. So we said, have we got another stream to cross yet? Jude's quite in at the next one. She zoomed up. Say, hang on, Sheila. You've got another stream to cross. I've got to make sure you're over it safely. My big sister. Right, just turning off this particular video a minute.